few days ago I posted this galaxy painting on my Instagram and so many of you enjoyed it and loved it and asked for a tutorial. I thought, yeah, why not? Let's paint some galaxies, some moons together. Especially if you're a beginner, if you have no clue how to do it, if you're just starting your watercolor journey. Because I am a beginner as well, I'm just learning since months and months trying to figure out how those things really work. So I'm gonna uh, walk you through my process, talk you through, and I hope you're gonna grab some paper, water, brushes and watercolors, any kind, any type, any brand you have, and you will paint with me. Shall we start? Um, first, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this blue tape. It's the painter tape that I, uh, I will be using to secure my uh, paper so it wouldn't move much while I paint and my uh, and next step will be to just basically make a circle no I do not make such a perfect circles with my eye and hand only <laughs> I use this tool thing um, I'm not sure how to <clears throat> how to call it in English <laughs> but it's this thing uh, from from school for kids when they have to do circles so that's what we will do today. We will use this to... I just wonder if I should secure that side, those sides as well. I will. I will. Maybe we do a few sizes. Um, so as I said to you, please grab whatever watercolors you have and uh, water and try because do you know sometimes I wonder if it's really my lack of skills or abilities or is it really the paints whether things work better or worse <laughs> and I do really wonder oftentimes uh, if, if sometimes it's just a luck in my case a pure luck when I'm doing things so okay I think this should be this should be good so let's make a circle I think it's a little smaller than the other one but that's okay now we can make some other circle here maybe what you think mm-hmm few galaxies <laughs> we can do why not <clears throat> few sizes as well I have to say we've done galaxies months and months ago I will give you a link to that previous video and so many of you enjoyed it we didn't do circle shape that time we just did ordinary just a rectangle shape so this time <laughs> this time just a different shape and it will just maybe look better I'm using this paper it's 200 uh, GM um, mixed media imagine Canson multi technique so it could be for not only for watercolors I guess for other other techniques as well for drawing I, I, I guess for painting of whatever whatever you think because it's multi multi technique as it says so this is something I have so I use it <laughs> basically um, okay how do we start guys how do we start well we need some water we need some brush and we need some watercolors which colors you're gonna go for which colors? Let's see. What do we have here? As you can tell, the inside, the the in the middle part is more of a bright, and the outside is darker. So that's how we're gonna uh, do the same as well. I'm gonna use those um, watercolors. They were, I got them on eBay, but I know they are in Michaels. They are in Hobby Lobby or something. Basically, they are just nice <laughs> cheap watercolors so I'm gonna use them today even though this one I have used a mix of Soho brand uh, Soho watercolors and Prima I think I can't remember <laughs> I think it was Prima but this time I'm gonna try to see if I can have similar effect with a cheaper uh, with a cheaper brand yeah let's try that so I'm gonna move my Soho on the side <clears throat> My nose is a little bit blocked and with that my ear <laughs> is a little bit blocked so I can hear myself which is pretty strange. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna start off by actually uh, sp spraying some water on top of my watercolors to make them wet 
to be honest I don't know why but I've seen professional watercolors doing it so I'm doing it as well I guess it's just easier when it's wet on top rather than dry so oh, some sprinkles went there that's okay I really don't mind that so I hope you're ready I hope you're painting with me we will do it together I didn't do it many times Oh, did you hear that music? That's my Lucas. He's around. He's, you're not going to hear a word from him. <laughs> but he's here. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and that's my printer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. That was uh, my printer because Lucas is um, trying to fix my printer. So if you hear any funny noises, that's my, my dear uh, Lucas and printer together. Okay, I'm going to wet my page a little bit and I'm gonna start from the middle part more or less going outside and not too much water but you know you have to test it for yourself because sometimes I felt that I added a lot of water and it worked sometimes I felt that I didn't add that much and it worked so I really cannot tell you but now with wet brush I'm gonna try to basically paint that's my printer again I cannot believe it Lucas <laughs> I didn't think it's gonna be making any noises I hope it's not that uh, loud for you and now I'm adding a bit of orange as you can see and I'm trying to pretty much going with the darker color outside mm-hmm next one maybe a bit of red Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's like a plummy red and I think we can still add some water there and drag the paint more or less. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. I love that effect. <clears throat> I really do. Oops. Be careful with your <laughs> with your how you add your colors around your circle and now next one is this very dark purple which I think could work nicely so I'm gonna basically try to bend over now and be very gentle to go around with that and maybe you know you don't have to be that dramatically precise but yeah a little bit <laughs> maybe just to have oops just to have you can always cut it out later on that's what I'm gonna do probably if things won't work so I'm adding water as well here and dragging the color as you can tell <coughs> towards inside of my of my galaxy I wonder if I add this or this delicate pink somewhere here would that be nice I think it would be very nice indeed <coughs> and just delicate so I wish to make sure that I have a little bit of bright space left which is here and that's Lucas's phone you see I can't record when he's around he <laughs> it's bad when he's around and I'm sorry for that guys okay okay he left the room <laughs> I'm so sorry guys for that I I wasn't I don't think he was expecting any phone calls so I when I said I'd, I'd be recording will it be good he said yes <laughs> He went upstairs to take that phone call from a friend of of his. Okay, so as you can see, it looks a bit different, but I love the idea of this to be different colorways, color scheme. It doesn't have to be the same, you know. It's good to come experiment. But I wish you to see how nice colors are here in terms of family colors, purples and pinks and orange. I didn't jump in with any sort of uh, green now because I would worry nearly that it may not go nice together with the rest and make a mock. So I'm just going to stick with, probably, I'm, at, at, at least for now, <laughs> I'm going to stick with whatever colors I have now which is purples and um, dark red, dark pink as you can see. So now I'm trying to go around to pretty much finish off my painting here. Yes. Oh, you'll be asking me for probably for my brushes. So I, I, I repeat myself, those are Soho brushes. 
I rain got them for me in states. Um, I use them because I have them. I'm not saying they're the best. I'm not saying they're bad. I have them. I'm using them. And I wish you to. I'm just adding different color now, just to see if this is anything nice happening when we play with the color. I added blue just to see. <clears throat> So I wish to encourage you to use what you have and try to learn things with things that you have basically around yourself. I think this blue maybe doesn't really rock my boat that much, but you know what? I'm allowed to take it away and I will. I don't think I, I'm a fan of that much there, so that's okay. I'm gonna recolor that I guess with maybe uh, that's how I say family colors. It should be nice, but it wasn't, so I'm happy to just take it away and color it on top. Why not? And same for here, just to have it nicely done on the side. I'm sorry if you hear my heavy breathing. I'm just heavier and heavier, and it's harder for me to basically um, talk and move <laughs> and stand at the same time uh, for a few minutes so that's why I'm breathing heavily I hope <laughs> you can forgive me that being pregnant is a hard job for some <laughs> definitely for me I love it I enjoy it but it's only um, it's only six weeks left 40 days left guys till the little princess will be here 40 days it's like wow <laughs> when the time went crazy crazy so I'm just adding now a little bit of water here and there and trying to pretty much uh, kind of move my pigment as we speak as I move my brush around of course my 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 paper um, sh uh, not shrink it, it moves like my paper is really really um, giving me this uh, kind of uh, it's, you know, it's not straight, it's just moving, but that's okay, I really don't mind that. So I'm just trying to play with the darker shades a little bit here and there, just to kind of add the big, bigger contrast, I guess, to my galaxy. And, yes, I'm trying to just play around and make my outside even darker. I wonder if I could actually grab my Soho, this one in particular, and show you. Is this pretty blue, pretty kind of dark? I wonder if, if I add it and what will happen. It's very dark indeed, but yeah, I think it's nice. I think it's nice actually. I think I can. Add this here. Mm -hmm. That's it. That is it. It is very nice. Let's drag some. Let's drag some paint here towards the towards the in in middle part of my painting and here as well. Oh, nice! I love that. Let's drag that here as well, and here, even more, mm -hmm. that is looking pretty good to me, yeah, love that, love that look, I love how the color blends and moves, I think every time I've done any galaxy, I didn't do many of them, but any time I did, it looked completely different to the previous one. So I guess as well, maybe it's, it would be good to look at the real galaxy picture, you know, like a real, real, real photograph of a night galaxy, and maybe copy that. Because what I'm doing right now is basically playing around with my imagination. But maybe you find it better if you basically will grab some real picture and try to, you know, try to um, copy that image. I think I absolutely love what I see right now 
as it is, literally. So I'm gonna just add touches of water here and there just to pre pretty much blend in, as you can see, blend in my pigment just to kind of soften up, soften up the edges. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, oh. They're not gonna let me to paint guys for you today because I think this is postman. <laughs> let me be back to you in five minutes. That was my post, <laughs> postman. Uh, I've done a little bit of online shopping, uh, clothes shopping, and it came through. It's easier for me now to online shop rather than go to the shop because uh, I'm getting tired <laughs> much faster and there were nice sale happening so I thought why not okay <clears throat> I am in pure love with this like I mean very much loving it everything I see here as you can tell it looks completely different in a way to this one like I mean seriously and again it will look different when, once we start adding white dots and, th and things so I'm gonna leave it for now and I will just go back with my other circle and what I will do, I'm going to try to do it maybe a little different as in less color, maybe less movement of the brush, I don't know, I'll see. So I'm just adding water on top of my circle and I'm going to sprinkle that again, but maybe greens and blues this time. So I'm going to be maybe trying to kind of mm. the movement is not really there as I wish but I'm not losing any of my hopes yet I like that what I see I'm gonna grab my maybe this blue kind of it's hard when things are wet around you to be precise and not to dirty your other painting basically. Oh, look how nice the movement goes. What I might do actually, I may just add a little bit of this green here and see, and this dark blue maybe here and see how is that gonna be affecting my my galaxy right now <laughs> I love it and I'm gonna drag the color here towards the center and mix those and look how pretty that is see we didn't do much much here so okay oh my this is outstanding I just hope this to dry that way and stay that way <laughs> You know, I love that. I really, really love this. I hope you are painting with me. Nod your head if you are. And if you're not, I'm very cross with you. <laughs> no, just kidding. I, I, I always say that you are not going to learn. You're not going to feel anything. You're not going to know if you're capable of things. If you're not going to try. Simply as that. So you have to try with me. I'm trying, you have to try as well. So I'm adding more dark in here, hoping for, like this part is amazing for me anyway. So I just added a bit of darker color there. And I'm gonna grab some water and hope to drag this pigment. Again, I'm sure you find some other galaxy techniques on the YouTube, um, I'm, I'm pretty convinced much more uh, in depth and, <laughs> and more professional but you know that's okay you don't have to be professional you can just go with the flow and just try your hand uh, the way as I'm trying that that's kind of you, you may not feel disappointed that way <laughs> because we just we, there's no pressure here today guys there's no pressure just enjoy it have some circles ready grab your like cheap these were cheap watercolors look at that it worked it did here sensational okay now I should change my water but anyway which sort of color we're gonna go for I'm gonna go for this pink yet again so I oh, look at this ha 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 
Ha ha ha ha ha! Woohoo! Oh my! Is that... That's crazy beautiful, like, I mean... You serious now? Wow! Okay, I'm gonna just gently leave it and add this one. No, not this one. Where was that? No, that's... Maybe... No. I don't know. Which one is the... The dark red one? This one, I think. Anyway, I, I'm gonna add it. No, that's more of a brown. That's okay. Hopefully this will move nicely. So as you can tell, I'm going from this time from outside towards inside. And also, I am starting with the color that is brighter here and then adding darker and stuff like that. So. Okay, I love that. How can you not love this? It's so beautiful. And it, it we made it in no time. Make few circles for your oopsie. Okay, I'm gonna make that bigger. <laughs> make few circles for yourself and just practice, 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 practice. Okay, one more circle. We haven't no, no more water left nearly. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just coloring the whole circle here, as you can tell, with water only. And I'm going to go for some colors different to what we have here, which, which what, what would be different, what would be nice. <laughs> I don't know, maybe more of a green this time, really green, like this green, maybe. I'll see. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, mm -hmm. I'm loving that, what I'm seeing, and you know, I really do feel it's just a matter of practice. I also find that some colors do react better, others they don't, so, you know what, whatever you have around the house, use what you have. Like, I'm purposely using my cheapest watercolors I have, just to show you that you really shouldn't be feel bad. Of course if you have more expensive watercolors awesome because they probably will help out and make your life easier I believe but if you're not so sure and if you're just starting with, water with watercolors maybe it's nice to just have a go with the cheaper ones and then when you think oh my this is something I really wish to explore more then you go and grab some colors some paints that are more expensive same for brushes and stuff. Have a look if you will fall in love in the subject like I did. I am really in love. I'm gonna go here, why not? <laughs> I, I really am in love with my uh, with the subject in general. I just love watercolors. I, I really feel for them and I'm enjoying it so you know for me buying next paints and next paints and next another one it's just a matter of discovering different colors and brands because I really truly enjoy it. So start simple and if you feel like this is something you really wish to do, then awesome. Go for it. Okay. What about if I'll add this soho very um tilly dark? I can hear myself breathing so heavily heavily. <laughs> Sorry for that. I don't worry, I'm really fine, it's just <laughs> It's just how I how I breathe at the moment. <laughs> okay, so I love well those two are absolutely my 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 perfect goals. Like really, it's nice to see how different even size of your uh, oh I'm gonna leave this as it is size of your um, galaxy can make the difference. Let this to dry and come back for some splashes. And here they are, my galaxies pretty much dry, well no, they are dry and I even left them uh, under my books for a few minutes so the paper would stra straighten a little bit and now what's left to do is do some splashes there are so many ways to do splashes, you know, you can use just a regular um, oops, a regular um, brush or stick or toothbrush. I'm gonna use my toothbrush and I will 
basically try to add some water to my white watercolor here and see if this will be handy, helpful <laughs> in creating my splashes. I think I need more. And yay! Look! Old used toothpaste. Uh, toothbrush, sorry. <laughs> toothbrush. Okay. And lots of water. And don't splash everything around yourself. <laughs> and here. There we go. I love that. I love my galaxy. I cannot wait to hear from you now. What you think? Did you try? Will you try? Let me know. And you know what? I was thinking, I hear so many comments of those which I appreciate a lot. On uh, There are those who are co commenting on every single video I post, which is amazing. But I was thinking, why don't you comment under the video and say, you're commenting for the first time ever. <laughs> Wouldn't be nice to hear from, from those who are maybe afraid to comment or I don't know why but <laughs> I think it could be it could be nice basically so I wish to hear from you let me know what you think I I think I'm gonna add some other white and the other thing that could be I'm just looking oh I have my white pot pot with white Posca's and all sorts of things so I think I'm gonna add both because um because i think they'd be more white in in order to be white <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense maybe this posca or this posca if there is any left there because maybe there isn't we will see oh you see it's more white than the white from watercolors if you can tell well, I can tell. <laughs> I love both ways. Doesn't matter at the end of the day. Okay, this is Posca, Uniposca. Uh, b -b 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 how, sh how big it is? Because some of you are asking me uh, 5M or 1.8 to 2.5 millimeters. Whatever that means. Okay, this needs to dry and we can cut it, cut our shape. My splashes are all dry and my galaxies are ready. Uh, you can cut it same way, fussy cut, same way as I did here with the big one. You can leave it in your page, make more practice, uh, collect your galaxies, make a lovely background. They could be a lovely, co um, a lovely addition to your collage maybe. Or you can just leave it as it is or for card making you could make some title here there's so many ways you can use your galaxies most importantly try paint with me uh, make few trials don't give up because it's never oh it's never perfect when you do it for the first time second time and most importantly it shouldn't be perfect it's about joy and really enjoying uh, the process and just uh, finally trying your hand uh, in the new techniques like watercolors for many. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it and please will you give me some suggestions uh, for another video. What would you like me to paint? Maybe a sunset, maybe some sky, maybe some trees or um, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me what would you like, what would be nice uh, to uh, to paint with you. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up at that. Thank you as always so much for your time. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and I hope you painted with me. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like the video if you if you did like it. <laughs> share it if you think that uh, your friends could benefit from this video. It would be lovely. And as always, lovely to hearing from you. Thank you in advance for every single comment you will leave under this uh, video. I do read them. I really do. Now it takes me a bit more time because uh, I'm. I think I'm more lazy since uh, it's only 
what six weeks left and I'm really <laughs> more often on the couch than anything else uh, so uh, but I, I do read them and I couldn't be more grateful so thank you for that as always uh, let's meet uh, on the Instagram Facebook where I share my sneak peeks and things um, yeah I'm gonna finish and wrap up with that thank you and kisses and hugs and I'll chat to you very super soon happy happy painting <laughs> bye bye bye